Welcome back to Dirt Track Racing for this second episode. If you remember last time we uh, finished off with a pretty damaged car. As you can see it would be quite expensive to repair. Uh, as I thought the price of the second hand cars was $250, it's actually $500 but it's still a better deal than fixing up our car. So we're going to sell our our old banger even though I really like it once again if you know what kind of model it's uh, made up from just let me know in the comments uh, let's see what what can we choose here we've got like a few different ones uh, there's not a massive difference in performance between them they're all in the same category they, I think it's only the engine capacity that changes but the performance stays the same same horsepower for everybody so I uh, quite like this one it kind of reminds me of the uh, the car you start up with in uh, driver I don't know if you remember driver uh, once again if you know which car it could be inspired from in the real world do let me know because I'd I'd really like to uh, to check it out let's let's have a closer look here looking nice black and yellow with the number 37 with 13th in uh, points at the moment, 48 points. Um, yeah, well, I guess we could maybe make it to the top 10. That could be our objective for this season, finish off the season. So we just have this race and then another one. Right, we're in Aztec Speedway, New Mexico. 8 degrees track, so that could be interesting in the driving. Wet track to start with, a bit windy. Let's um, take a look at Google Earth actually. Let's just try and check out our track in the real world and see what, what we can expect from it. So it's, it's a bit of a desert area here, really sandy. You can see like these patch of grey on the track almost. Let's see if the game models that at all. Seems to be a, a slightly raised um, area with dunes in the background and sort of vegetation on top of that. Right, let's see how it compares to the game then. Okay, well here we are. The track definitely feels uh, similar to what we've just seen with like patches of greyish dirt. Uh, we're starting on a wet track here for the practice. Let's just give a bit of room to the AI since I don't really want to damage my brand new second hand car. A couple of trees here, I don't really remember seeing any trees on the um, Google Earth version of this, um, but you never know, like sometimes these uh, patches of green are kind of like uh, a bit shallow looking, so it's it's not full 3D, so you never know, but anyway, I can see like dunes with bits of uh, grass on it, so that's alright, yeah, it's believable. Okay, let's try and focus on the racing then can see the 8 degrees uh, of the banking here is really being felt when you drive so I think the strategy is going to be to kind of like stick to the outside on the straight maybe and then dive in to turn see there I, I stayed high a bit too long and then I was sort of caught uh, in that turn um, in the end, so it's not the best. It's much better here, like um, when I plan it well and, and just dive in for the turn. It's definitely a different type of track to what we had before. Um, I think it's a faster track. Uh, you can see here 
again just not angling the car correctly and if you do that you, you almost feel like you're getting caught in, in ruts or uh, I know it's probably not modeled but this is definitely how it feels like you you turn the wheel a bit too much or too soon and then you can't really get the car straight in time for getting out of the corner at, at the highest speed so uh, something to keep in mind it's a bit of a bumpy track as well I would just like um, there's bits of elevation changes in it as well it's quite uh, interesting uh, some of the tracks are just like super flat so when you come to a track like this you definitely notice uh, when it goes up and down uh, pretty nice I like that yeah so the field is much more spread out but that's to be expected with a faster track there's definitely going to be a bit more distance between everybody so hopefully it's going to be it's going to be easier to pass um, last track was super tight and so it was almost impossible to pass you, you really had to go door to door which ended up ruining my car really um, now it was fun though it's it's a skill to be able to do that uh, so I definitely enjoyed the challenge um, but it's nice to mix it up a bit and and get to a track where you can actually just try and take up some speed and overtake in different ways so um, catching catching up with these guys a bit on this lap which is good reassuring in a way because was a bit uh, lost behind them for a while here. Okay, end of practice. That's the kind of lap time we can expect. 15, 17 for my best lap. Let's just check the tire condition quickly. Not too bad, but the front right seem seems to um, have taken up a bit more damage than the rest so maybe if I try and and uh, angle these a bit front right here it is yeah it seems to be too much to the outside so it's probably taking uh, a bit of, uh, of damage here I'm not quite sure how to do this but I'm going to try it out. If you've got any suggestions, just let me know in the comments and maybe that will um, help me out for the next couple of races. Uh, once again, we just have one event left after this for the end of the, the first season. Um, and we'll see whether or not we're, we're going to try a different series, who knows. Okay, so the idea would be to have the wheels, the inside wheels, uh, turn towards the inside of the, of the turn, of, of the track, so that's kind of like helping us to turn left, um, this would be my understanding of it, just trying to check, you know, what it looks like when you move them around. I think that's quite cool as well, that the uh, there's a model of the car there on, that you can have a look at uh, just by the chart so, so that you can check what, you know, every action you, you make, any setting you make, you know, you can check the impact of it. That's pretty good uh, visually, you know, if you're not uh, really good with setting up the car like, like, like me. Uh, fortunately we can't really change anything else but I think it's because we've not purchased any uh, spare parts so um, if you if you purchase you know extra parts and and all that and that's when you can um, change tires and stuff like that for example but I'm not going to do that with only one race left um, I think it's, it would probably be for um, a longer series you know that have more tracks in them and uh, then maybe over the course of the season you might want to uh, upgrade your car a bit. Um, qualifying, let's try and focus now. Let's uh, 
let's try and see if we can qualify well last lap already three laps is always so fast no room for error okay let's park the car now I don't think that was my best uh, run at uh, 15 17 last time in practice so I wish it was uh, reverse <laughs> um, well it just shows you know I could have been on pole with the uh, practice time but here we go Mm, not sure if my tuning has uh, made any improvement to the tire situation. Hit number three then, here we go. Let's try and uh, stay with the pack. Or not, maybe. They seem to be quite quick as well. I think I need to get used to their way around a uh, faster track as well. You always have to adapt to uh, the way the AI is uh, behaving but it's interesting to see that you know they're not always going to race in the same way depending on which track they're racing so pretty much like real drivers right okay making up a bit of ground here I think everybody's kind of having the same strategy of um, going to the outside or the middle or the straight and then diving like into the, the sandy bit here it's really a different type of track that you've got the main sort of line almost like all the way up the outside and then you've got this bit of sand like a uh, hard shoulder um, each side of that um, yeah, it's pretty interesting but uh, I'm sure that if you go too much towards the outside you then lose traction completely and if you go too much on the inside you're not going to be fast either but it's definitely helping to turn the car yeah I quite like the uh, elevation change as well it's uh, pretty nice to try and use uh, what we could call energy driving, just use the energy of the car to um, try and, and turn, use gravity and the speed of the car to uh, just help turn instead of just like moving the wheel too much or braking or you know changing gears and stuff. You pretty much stay constant in what you're doing, but um, using the type of terrain you're on. Uh, these guys are doing quite quite well on this uh, so it might be a bit harder than I thought anyway I made a bit of ground so it's not too bad let's park the car here you can see how fast we are because it takes us a while to sort of slow down and park the car Right, well, not bad a lap, lap time here, 14.79, I think that was my best lap time. Seventh in the heat. That puts us in good position for the B main. There we go, second place. Is that my ticket to the A main? I don't know, it depends how these guys uh, drive. Obviously in a B main you can expect a good level of racing. Um, I think so far this uh, season I've been mainly in, in C mains. <laughs> so um, yeah, not with the best. Um, let's see, can we hang on to the top five? I think it's the top five that move up but we'll check that later on. I would really like to make it to the A main. I think we've got a potential to be in the A main. 
probably not at the top. Uh, but I think, yeah, maybe towards the back of the A main. I think if we made it to the A main, we'd probably end up like, you know, just after the, the top 10 cars, maybe 11th, 12th. Um, and that's what I would be aiming for. I think that would be a nice, uh, a nice little result for us. I think so far our best result was ninth in the A main, and that was like the first, very first race um, that was recorded for this season. Um, so, yeah. And I've got a new car as well, so I don't really have many excuses not to make it here. It's purely on skills this time, so... But these guys are doing pretty well here. So it's definitely a challenge, but an enjoyable one, I've got to say. It's enjoyable racing, you know. It's, it feels like... You don't really have an advantage on them. They don't really have an advantage on you. It's really who's going to drive the best. Who who's going to, you know, make the most of their machine. Um, see this guy getting a bit out of shape. That might help us get through. I might uh, be a bit more uh, aggressive here because I really want my way into the, the A main. Oh man, this looks like a Dodge Charger. Sorry, General Lee. I really want to uh, make it. This one looks a bit like a Mustang, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, fifth. Well, you know, I started second, so it's not the best result, but I didn't drop back too much. Will we move forward? That's the question. Ah, we just missed it, man. It's the first four that move to the A main. Well, at least we get a bit of prize money for it. All right. Appearance money, $55, all right. Well, it's a bit disappointing. I would really have liked to make it to the A main, but I guess we weren't up to the task. It's a shame with a brand new car, but there you go. The uh, results, um, total winnings, $104. Oh, we've got a new sponsor. Well, at least we didn't lose everything here. I guess that was good enough for someone. And this time we'll make $75 per event. So that's uh, a good thing. Maybe that's going to help us to um, upgrade the car later on. I, I suppose maybe some of the AI have upgraded their car. Uh, damage is not too bad. Chassis already three percent, hundred dollars. That's great. Yeah, it's definitely worth repairing the engine here because it's not so expensive, and that definitely has an impact on performance. It doesn't take much actually to uh, damage them. Okay, just one race left for this uh, first series, and I'll see you next time in Paris. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.